Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Uh, John Coleman and I have the great pleasure of speaking with Bill Jordan, the person that most, in our mind, embraces the boom. He does. Well, sure. I mean, how many other guys have an Embrace the Boom mug? So, of course, I've got to do it more than anybody else should. Well, everybody should have one, really. Well, there's no question. There's no question about that. Wait, me too. Hey, look at that. I I Embrace the Boom is is, is encouraging my fellow baby boomers to embrace life as baby boomers. And don't let society write you off as a has-been. Yeah, I don't think... Excellent advice. And by the way... Besides having the opportunity to buy a mug on your website, uh, I think people should buy it and use it and enjoy it and embrace the boom. But where I was going with this is you have some wonderful practices. Your your 15 practices, great Mm -hmm. advice for living at any age, but particularly for baby boomers. Mm -hmm. What's What's your favorite practice today? Pick one out of the Well, today, um, I, I really like number eight. And number eight is try not to compromise what you want most for what you want now. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So that donut may look really good right now, or those two donuts or three or four donuts may look good right now, and they would taste good right now. But what do you want most? Do you want to drop that five or 10 pounds, or do you want to eat that donut? So, in fact, I just... Saw a podcast the other day, a former Navy SEAL was talking about strategic thinking versus tactical thinking. He says, seeing that donut and wanting that donut is tactical thinking because it's immediate. It's an immediate action. Strategic thinking is long term. What's your goal going to be and how do you get there? So if we think strategically, you'll put the donut away. So ideally, you don't even have it around. You know, I'm. My wife is a great cook and she loves to bake. And I mean, when she whips out some banana bread or something like that, it's hard for me to say no. I've, I've learned to limit myself to a smaller slice or one slice. Um, it, it just, it's truly, that is the essence of self-discipline. Try not to compromise what you want most for what you want now. Hmm. And then yeah. you'll, thank, you'll thank yourself as time goes on. There's, there's countless articles online you can find about Delayed gratification, and it's a sign of emotional intelligence, not IQ, but EQ. When people are learn and uh, embrace, we'll use that word again, but embrace the long-term view of where they want to go in their life, who they want to be, and it's not just answered in the immediate. You know, as Americans and maybe all of society now, we want it. We want it now. We want the food now. We want the information now. We want the skills now, and Long term is the way to look, and and in a variety of, of ways. And I use the donut uh, analogy because it's simple, but it could be any number of things. You want the whatever now, as opposed to, you know, you want to spend that money now, as opposed to saving it. Yeah, something like that. You know, so um, it's it's worth thinking about. Try not to compromise what you want most for what you want now. It's a question just to ask yourself through the day. Yeah, it's it's a great lesson. It's a classic, and of course, it's something we should be doing from childhood on. But um, getting older doesn't mean getting smarter. We need these kinds of lessons, these fifteen practices, to remind us. Well, you know, I, I heard a great definition, and maybe it's not even that we need to get smarter. Although that's a good way to put it. I mean, I think of it more as wisdom, because we've lived long enough and we've seen cause and effect throughout our life. It's not luck it's it's cause and effect mm-hmm. um and so wisdom i've heard a great definition of wisdom is simply taking your own best advice and not that we're going to jump through this hoop every time but if your spouse or if, if your friend or whatever you knew had a goal of hey i want to lose 10 pounds and they're sitting there getting ready to eat a donut what do you want now versus what do you want long term and you to remind them of that you would want the best for them you know so taking your own best advice we're good at giving it but we're not necessarily good at hearing and taking our own best advice why isn't that the truth you know also i think that um uh, uh particularly this one this this uh, principle that you have 
would be really great if uh, somehow we could impart that to our grandchildren uh, as they're growing up so that, uh, look, because most of us, uh, uh, even those of us who are in relatively good shape, let's say financially in retirement, uh, think how much better we could have been if uh, we paid a little bit of attention to that and maybe saved an extra two or three percent yeah. all along the way uh, and just never missed it. So uh, rather than take that vacation or buy uh, that extra level of automobile, which would be nice and so on and so forth, but you took that extra few uh, hundred dollars or thousands of dollars and put them away 30 years ago, yeah. well, we would have been a lot better sure. off. So, I mean, so you're, uh, uh, most, of your, most of the practices that you embrace uh, and that you're talking about now with the wisdom of age, if you will, are really great things to impart to anybody of any yeah. age. Yeah, in fact, I tell you what, guys, I, I was so proud. I mean, my heart just about blew up here a month or two ago. My my grandson, who's almost 15, he just said to me one night, he says, Poppy, give me a good quote. Give me a quote. And and I said, well, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. He says, I was just talking about that the other day. So some of this, <laughs> some of this, so what, what, I, what I'm getting at, it, I mean, some of it's sticking to him. Yeah. And he's getting interested in these things. Yeah, I was just, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. I was just thinking, I just told somebody at school about that. So he says, yeah, give me another quote. So. And that's the cool thing about this. I mean, you know, in years to come, if the if I can't imagine anything replacing the internet, but who knows that my grandson, my two granddaughters will be able to look mm -hmm. and hear, hey, there's Poppy. There's old Poppy talking to those other two old guys on the internet. So uh, long after I'm gone. So that's about cool and spouting wisdom, not just right. uh, we do blather sometimes, but oh, certainly really? this, this one's wisdom. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, after saying wisdom, there isn't much else to say, is there? Take your own best advice. Yep. Listen to and take your own best advice. Try not to compromise what you want most or what you want now. Live your That's life, forget your age, embrace the boom. And embrace the boom. And God bless you. Boom. And remember, in, in 2075, 2275, yeah, 20, well, 22, 2275, you'll be looking back on the immortal Bill Jordan and his, the other two old guys and say, boy, I wish now that I am 66 or 67 that I had paid attention to the principles of Bill Jordan. Hey, you know, I, if, if, if something that we talk about, guys, if, if one little nugget comes through and helps somebody with each one of these videos, then that's... Hey, man, well worth the effort. Yep. Uh, thank you, Bill. Thank you all. See you soon, Bill. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.